Johnnies. Welcome back. It's me, Jenny. How is everyone doing today? Ooh. Okay, so I have a different video for you guys today. Um, no DIY videos. Um, no crafting videos and no haul videos. <laughs> I will do that later though. Um, this is going to be a QA. and a I have a lot of questions that I wrote down here that you guys um, have been very curious to know about me. Um, a lot of you guys have asked me in my social media these questions and it kind of like always seemed to come up. So I thought maybe I should just do a Q&A, let you guys know the answer um, if you guys want to know and just kind of like put it out there basically, right? So. I have um, one, two, three, four, five most asked questions that I get um, from you guys. And I just kind of wanted to just, I guess, let you guys know the answer since you're so curious to know about me. I don't know why, but you guys are. So I'm just going to go and let and see what how this video turns out. I've never done this before, so we'll hopefully pray that this video turns out okay we'll see okay so oh by the way if you guys hear some barking or some construction like noises they're building next door and my mom's dog might be in the backyard so sorry okay so I have um, here five questions that I'm going to answer you guys I didn't really write down every single question that you guys have because I figured um, I don't know if you like these videos and maybe I'll do more in the future, but these are the most, most asked questions. So I figured, let me go with like the most popular asked questions. And then if we like these type of videos then we'll maybe, and maybe do more. Okay. Ready? Okay. So the first question is, um, is YouTube my prime source of income? No. <laughs> Hell no, it's not. Uh, I don't know why people assume that YouTube is my primary source of income. It is not. Um, <clears throat> I have a full-time job. I work for a pediatrician office. I am a CMA. And I have YouTube more or less like sort of like a hobby. I don't have YouTube as my primary source of income. I know that some people do make money off YouTube. I don't know exactly how that even works out because the only little bit of money that I make is through my commercials that play join my um, my videos and that is not even a lot. I If I make $120 every two months, that might be too much. So that's all the all, that's the only income that I got, that I get from YouTube. Um, I did open one of those um, Amazon affiliate accounts. Um, I think I made like a penny <laughs> so far. So I, I, basically YouTube is not my source of income. If I literally right now live off what YouTube provides me, I will be homeless. Um, I don't know what the formula behind making so much money on youtube is if you guys know please let me know let it let put the formula on the bottom of this video so that we can all kind of like relate to how people actually make hundreds of money through youtube because i have no idea how they do that um okay so that was um that was number one. Uh, by the way, I'm I'm looking down because I wrote down all my questions in my lovely, um, beautiful mini planner. Okay, and that's another question that I always get is, am I affiliated with some companies? I'm not affiliated with some companies. I'm not affiliated with any company. This question gets asked so many times, and I keep telling you guys, I don't I am not sponsored by anybody um, I think that a lot of you guys assume that I work with different companies because I'm always doing haul videos and I'm always kind of like pushing I guess maybe pushing like products to you guys like for example like my mini 
little planner. I always tell you guys how much I love, I love, I love my happy planner. And I guess it kind of seems like I might be pushing products to you guys. But trust me guys, I am not affiliated with any company in my channel. Um, I have been asked to be sponsored by different companies, but to be honest with you, I very um, kindly let them know that I'm not really interested at the moment because I feel that if I'm going to have a company or if I'm going to sponsor somebody, it has to be something that I'm comfortable with, right? Um, because I'm not comfortable with sponsoring video like uh like games video games i have no idea anything about video games so why would i sponsor that in my channel it makes no sense you know not all good money not all money is good money and i know what you guys are saying out there you're like well jenny you just lost an opportunity to make money you know with a company who's gonna who's willing to sponsor you give you a few thousand dollars for them for you to promote you know their video games in your channel yes you're right it's not smart but at the same time, it makes no sense to me. Because if I'm gonna promote something, it's something that I love, something that I know, something that I enjoy, something that I can relate to. I can relate to video, tape, uh, um, video games. I don't know anything about it. So, um, so to make, to put it out there so that everybody knows, I am not sponsored by anybody. Um, I'm not totally against it either. I mean, if Michael sends me an email and tells me, listen, Jenny, you know, you do a lot of whole videos about our products. Can we sponsor you? My answer will be like, hell yes, of course, because I am live in Michael's. I love going to shop at Michael's. I love shopping at AC Moore and Hobby Lobby and, and Home Goods and, you know, Marshalls and TJ Maxx and all these other places. So, I'm not totally against sponsoring. I just want to do it with the right company that I truly believe in. So if you ever get anything that in my channel is going to be sponsored, trust and believe that whatever I'm going to put out there for you guys is something that I believe in. Okay? Okay, number two. Check. Okay. The third question and another question that is very highly asked is what where am I from? Am I Indian? No. Am I Dominican? No. Am I Arabic? No. Am I Egyptian? <laughs> no. African American? No. These are all, I mean, the most highly um, asked question is this one. I'm Cuban. I'm from Cuba. I was born in Cuba. My mother is born in Cuba, raised in Cuba. She's from Cuba. My father is born in Cuba, raised in Cuba, is in Cuba. And I am 100% Cubana. So um, for those of you who are super interested to know where I'm from, I am from Cuba, okay? Um, I don't know why people, are so I guess you're just curious, right? I don't know. Um, how did my YouTube channel start? That's another question that a lot of people ask me. And the funny thing about this is that I originally started my YouTube channel doing makeup um, a long time ago. I'm talking about like maybe five, six years ago. I originally started doing my YouTube channel doing makeup. And I also started to do haul videos on makeup and you know, products that I would go to like Sephora or go to like, um, you know, makeup stores and buy. And then I would just do like whole videos. So that's how my, 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 my channel originally started. And then slowly I got kind of like tired of doing those channel, those videos. Cause I wasn't really sure. We're like, I, I'm not, I don't know anything about video, about makeup. I mean, come on. I'm not a makeup artist or I have no clue about makeup. I was just really doing it just to have fun, right? But then I started to like not like doing these videos anymore. And then I started to do DIY videos. And then the rest was history. 
and then I started to really love doing DIY videos and then this is how I started my YouTube channel um okay and then the last um very highly requested question I get in my channel is um do I have a professional setup no I, I don't know why you guys think you guys would think that I do I don't um I actually record all my videos on my table counter which is right now where I'm at my kitchen I throw a white blanket on my table I have my um my iPhone which is what I'm recording right now I have my iPhone on a selfie stand and then I have that stand in a little heavy container very unprofessional <laughs> very unprofessional but you know what it works for me it works for you guys you guys seem to like what I give you you are okay with the view even though sometimes my view can be a little bit like off but for the most part um you're able to see what i'm doing hear that that's the construction i'm talking about mm -hmm. for the most part you're able to see what i'm doing you're able to see my diy projects which is important for me and you guys have no problems with that so i don't have a professional setup at all this is just basically um trial and error like i've tried this i tried that and then this kind of works for me right now um this is working perfectly well my um my my hubby got me a camera which i'm going to start using soon and um and probably do the same setup with the camera because i kind of like this setup i, I kind of like working on my, on my kitchen table because it's kind of big it's very spacious and um i love working here the lighting is much much better so it works perfect for me so no I don't have a professional setup um, if you guys want to see how I record my videos let me know and I'll probably do a video for you guys but be aware it's nothing professional at all um, okay and that's basically those five most asked questions that I get a lot in my social media. Now, I have five things that I want to tell you guys that I would love to accomplish by the end of the year. I thought it would be fun to just put in there, you know, um, to put in there. I thought it would be fun to just put in there, like, you know, a few things that, um, that I would love to accomplish. So one of those things is I would love to accomplish to get 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Oh, I'm praying that that can be accomplished because um, when I saw that we have 5,000, I was like, wow, that's insane. I would never in a million years think that I would get 5,000 subscribers, never. So I said to myself, you know what? I'm going to go for 10,000. So that is one of my most, most, most wanted reach gold is to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Now, let me just tell you something before I continue. A lot of people feel that the more subscribers you have, the more money you make on YouTube and the more success you have. So, you know, for me, it might be true. Um, my purpose for me to have more subscribers is not to make money, okay? My purpose for me to have more subscribers is to get myself more ambitious and more, um, and, and, and give myself more inspiration and just put more contact out there for you. Every time I see, um, you know, someone subscribe to your channel, I get emails when someone subscribes to my channel. So every time I get that little email, it makes me smile and it gives me so much more motivation to put more videos out there for you guys because I know that somehow I'm kind of reaching out to people who enjoy watching my channels, right? So that has nothing to do with making money. Yes, of course, we all would love to make money, but like I always said, all money is not good money, right? So for those of you who maybe are very popular in youtube and make a lot of money we probably understand what i'm saying when i say all oh, money is not good money you need to have money but you need to have it come to you in a good way 
So, yes, I don't want views or subscriptions or people subscribing to my channel because I want to make money off you. I want you to come and subscribe to my channel and view my videos because I want to inspire you. I want you to feel inspired to do whatever you want. Not let people tell you what you should do. Do what you want to do. Have fun doing whatever you want to do. That's the reason why I do my channels. And that's the reason why I do my videos. Not to make money, okay? Um, my leg is falling asleep. Okay, another thing that I would love to do in the future, obviously not anytime soon, I would love to write a book. I don't know. I want to write three books right three series um and i just i i always had that in my mind that i wanted to buy write a book um probably a diy book probably maybe like a crafting book and definitely um a lot about uh old world like like uh, vintage and like um, Victorian era and just all the stuff stuff that I love right stuff that I love and that I'm interested in to read I, I would love to really write a book especially about DIY I think DIY would be one of those things that I would love to do um I don't know I have no business writing a book because as you all know my English is not that great but now that we are living in a different era I can always hire somebody to help me right write a book why not Okay, um, another thing that I would love to do, which I would love to do this so much, is visit my country. I would love to go to Cuba. Uh, I don't know, I just, I've really never had any interest in going back to Cuba, but for some reason, for the last few years, I have been really kind of like wanting to go, and um, I really would love to go visit my country. Yeah, why not? I think that would be fun to do. Um, I would become, I would love to also have a farmhouse style home. That's one of those things I would love to accomplish before I die is a farmhouse style home. And that would be cool. That would really be cool. Even though I'm some, I'm sort of like a person who loved every single old era, right? I love the Victorian times. I love vintage. I love the 80s. I love the 20s. I love the 30s. I love the 40s. I love everything. I love all the old world. Like, I just love it all. But, I don't know. I love farm, rustic looking style homes also. So, I don't know. That would be one of my greatest, I guess, accomplishments if I could ever reach it in my lifetime. Um, okay, and then, <laughs> this is weird. This is going to be weird, I know. But I, I know it's weird. I know it's weird, but I'm just going to tell you anyway, okay? I would love to design a KitchenAid mixer. You know those gigantic, big mix? Um, I should have had a picture of it here, um, but I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. KitchenAid, where you bake stuff and you make things, is a gigantic mix mixture of big mix machine. I can't figure it out. I can't. I wish I had a picture to show you, but I would love. I would love to design. I don't know for some reason in my mind I don't know why I would love to design um, at least three designs <laughs> I don't know why I would love to design that yeah I, you know what I think I know why because I like to watch um, pioneer woman on the Food Network and she has like four or five of those different kitchen a mixtures mix Mixtures, is that what it's called? I don't know how you pronounce it. But she has four or five of those big, you know, uh, machines that you can bake and do whatever. And they all have, like, different kinds of designs on it. And when I first saw it, I was like, oh, my God, I would love to design one of those. And ever since I saw that that um, episode, I always had that in, my mind, in the back of my mind. I don't know why, but... 
it's weird i know but it's just one of those things that i would love to do before um i would love to accomplish i don't know um and then the next oh and then i this question is always like um <laughs> for some reason asks i don't know why but they always ask if you had in like an instant success in youtube right what would be something that you would do right so a lot of people say oh i want to go to disney world right or i want to go to paris or i want to go um build a home um or buy a house or buy a car well yes and no i would love to be able to fully buy my mom's house you know make her um a homeowner for life without any mortgages pay off the mortgage for her have her retire have her just relax you know she's worked so hard so many years and continue to still work so i would be it would be fantastic for me to be able to just give her that as a gift you know pay off the house for her she has no mortgage she has she doesn't have to worry about um make sure she's set for for good and she can just do whatever she wants you can just stop working and just do her plants and do things that she wants to do go thrift shopping if she wants to plant her plants outside in the garden if she wants to i would love to do that for her um and um and then for myself i would love to <laughs> this is another weird thing i would love to rent a u-haul truck go across country and stop by every freaking free market that i see collect things from different places come back and then open up my own like thrift shop and like sell stuff in there it's weird but you ask me and i'm telling you what will be my choice of what i would do if i become successful overnight of course with everything else buy a house and all that other stuff but but those things are kind of the things that I kind of stay behind me in the back of my mind if i were to be successful on youtube okay um that's basically it honeys i hope you guys enjoyed this video how long has it been oh 22 minutes why can i not make my videos shorter because i talk too much that's probably why okay i hope you guys enjoy this video make sure you guys thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe make sure you guys um let me know what you think about these q and a's and i will see you guys on my next video okay love you all be safe and be careful bye honeys have a fantastic weekend